So in this video, we're looking at some of the best cases for the new iPad Air 5 that just came out in 2022. And all cases in this video will also fit the iPad Air 4 as well. I'll leave a link for all the cases in this video in the description down below. Let's go ahead and get started. First one up is by Spigen. This is the Ultra Hybrid Pro Case. It comes in rose gold, green, black, or the one shown here is sky blue. Great, the one I got here looks like it was damaged in shipping. You can see it's sort of a hybrid case, clear TPU material there on the back, a nice soft touch material on the inside. It actually looks pretty good here. It's really nice how you can see the color of your iPad there in the back. You've also got a spot here on the side for the Apple Pencil. Nice cutout on the back for the rear facing camera. Nice cutout on the top for the power button as well. Looks like the magnet's still strong enough to go through the case to hold the Apple Pencil on, so that's good. This one also has the auto sleep and wake function. Pretty nice screen protection there as well. The volume buttons are covered by the TPU material, but they actually seem to work really good. Speaker openings, maybe a tad bit larger. Overall, not bad though. Then you get a nice oversized cutout there for the charging port. It also has sort of a soft touch material here on the cover. Overall, pretty nice grip on here. Then you got two different viewing angles when in the stand position. Overall, just a really nice hybrid folio style case by Spigen. And in case you're wondering, it weighs in at 746 grams. Next case up is by Zugu. This is actually gonna be one of the more expensive cases out of all these. Nice thing is it comes in red, pink, brown, black, berry purple, and this one here is slate blue. Pretty nice soft touch material there on the inside. Sort of a leatherette material there on the outside. And then a softer TPU around the edges. Of course, you got the auto sleep and wake function. It's got a really nice taper there where the power button is, and then the volume buttons are covered by the TPU material. Touch ID is really easy to get to as well. Volume buttons work really good on this one. The spot on the side where the pencil goes, I feel like this one's a little bit stronger than on the Spigen case. You can see really nice screen protection on this one. Exact cutouts for the speaker openings and then oversized cutout there for the charging port. You've also got a spot here on the back for the Apple Pencil. Not only do you get a ton of different angles there when in the stand position, you can see just how strong the magnet is. This one weighs quite a bit more than the one by Spigen. I mean, we're talking 854 grams, but as far as quality, how it feels, and functionality, I gotta say, this one's really nice by Zugu. Now this ESR magnetic case, this has to be one of the lightest that I've tested. And it comes in a lot of different colors. Gray, gold, green, light blue, forest green, black, army green, and the one here is navy blue. This one's really simple, pretty much like a book cover style. And as you can see, this one's gonna be the easiest one to put on. You can see this one's exposed there around the edges. You don't have to worry about the power button or the speakers being covered up. You can also put the Apple Pencil on and then just throw the flap right over it. It sticks together with a magnet. Then you have a couple different viewing angles here as well when in the stand position. And the flap kind of stays out of your way if you don't want to use it as well. It also has sleep and wake function. This one only weighs in at 716 grams. So definitely the lightest one yet. If you're looking for a slim book cover, yeah, this is one you should definitely check out.
Next one up is a leather folio style case by Antbox. You can get this in red, brown, black, and the one shown here is blue. Pretty typical leatherette material there on the outside. A nice rubberized material for the inside. Sort of a TPU back here the iPad snaps into. This one got the auto sleep and wake function. You've also got a spot here on the inside for the Apple Pencil, which allows charging when it's in there. Pretty easy to get in and out as well. It's got a little flap there that kind of keeps everything together. Nice cutout for the power button. Although the one I have here seems like it's a hair off. Power and volume buttons work really good on this one. Volume buttons could be a little bit clickier, but they still work pretty good. Nice cutouts on the bottom for the speakers and charging port. Then you get a few different angles here when it's in the stand position. Nice cutout there on the back for the rear facing camera. Just like the Zugu case, this one is a little bit heavier, 856 grams. Overall, pretty nice option here by Ambox if you're looking for a leather style case. Now the next one up is by Fenty. This one's a hybrid slim case, very similar to the Spigen one I showed you earlier, but this one's gonna be slightly different. And it comes in a ton of different colors. The one shown here is sky blue. Right on the inside, there's a spot for the Apple Pencil. Charges with no problem. Pretty easy to get in and out as well. You also have the auto sleep and wake function, clear on the back, just like the one by Spigen. Really nice grip on this one too. Perfect cutouts there for the power button and then holes for the speakers on top and bottom. Even though the volume buttons are covered by that TPU, they actually work really nice. This one feels really lightweight as well. Yeah, this one's really lightweight, only 710 grams. I guess it's gonna come down to personal preference between this one and the one by Spigen. I almost feel like this is better than the Spigen, mainly because the pencil's on the inside. And just really nice build quality here by Fenty. And then you got two different viewing angles when in the stand position. Next one up is also by Fenty. The style of this one is gonna be very similar to the one I showed you earlier by Zugu, but this one's quite a bit cheaper. You've got several colors to choose from, and the one I'm showing you here is navy. This one has the auto sleep and wake function. A spot right here on the side for the Apple Pencil. Easy enough to get in and out. I think they could have made the volume button stick out just a little bit more. I like how they actually have openings for the speakers instead of just the little holes on this one. Power and volume buttons work really good on here. You can see the ridges are slightly different on this one. So you got six different viewing angles here. Pretty strong magnet here as well. This one might not feel quite as good as the Zugu, but considering the price difference, you can't really go wrong with this one by Fenty. And yeah, this is definitely one of the heaviest, 948 grams. And then the case that I've used the most for my iPad Air 4 is this one by Z2 Top. You can get this in brown, blue, black, and the one I've got here is called Canvas Black. This one's got sort of a plastic shell that it snaps into. Definitely one of the easiest covers to put on. This one also rotates as well. It also has a strap that kind of keeps everything together. It's got a denim material here on the front and back. Then a leather accent here on the front cover. Pretty decent sized pocket there on the front. It's got a spot here on the edge for the Apple Pencil. Or if you want something a little more secure, it's got a spot here right along the edge. Volume buttons are covered by a plastic material and then top and bottoms exposed so you don't have to worry about the speakers being blocked or the power button.
Even though they're covered by plastic, volume buttons are really clicky on this one. You've also got a strap here on the inside. Kind of makes it easier to use one-handed. And it's really easy to rotate the screen as well. Then you got a few different viewing angles when in the stand position. This one weighs in at 784 grams. Now this is the only one that doesn't have the auto sleep and wake function. But as far as build quality and how it functions, pretty good grip and decent protection as well. Just overall nice case by Z2 Top. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Uh,